Still don't know how people will be able to defend any of this. Da -dun. Da -dun. Fetch your pitchforks, my cutie pies. The DeviantArt ranting community is crumbling to pieces before our very eyes. Callouts, betrayal, condemnations, fire, destruction, brimstone, cats and goats living together, mass hysteria! First, we had Yo Yo and Simply Dad coming in, pointing fingers and yelling, You're a horrible, terrible, child raping person to the entire community, unaware that they were actually looking in a mirror. And don't worry, we'll get to those videos in due time. Since then, the entire community has basically declared martial law. All the audience members were given AKs, the top ranchers in the community were put into concentration camps where they were interviewed relentlessly on their opinions on insert topic here, and a few select ones were able to escape by providing the guards with the most bare-boned of evidence to condemn the others in the community. Apparently, the only way to freedom is to push all the hatred onto somebody else. Or you could try not to get involved, like Junkie did, digging yourself a hole to hide in, only to then have all the garbage from everybody else put on top of you. Needless to say, it's been an eventful four days. So today we're going to be discussing the two videos that, as of recording, have spawned 158 additional videos about the topic. These videos were posted on April 18th. Now, there's a reason that so many videos have come about because of this, and I promise you I'll bring that up soon. In the meantime, I'd like to introduce you to the five videos we'll be looking into, the two big ones and three minor ones. Atari and Penegrin's videos, both titled Stay Away From Spockter Theory, Stories' video, My Experience With Spockter Theory, Question Turkey's video, Avoid Spockter Theory At All Costs, and Ghosty's video, About Spockter Theory and the Screenshots. First thing you've probably noticed is that they all revolve around someone named Spockter Theory. His channel has actually since been renamed Spockter Tech, but I'll just be referring to him as Spockter in this video for the sake of consistency. Spockter is a channel often associated with the DeviantArt ranting community, as are Atari and Pentagrin, much to their chagrin. So these two made a video about him talking about how horrible of a person he was. The entire community gasped at their feet and immediately disowned him, spreading the video around to share awareness, sent the video to me, and I went... Thanks for the material, suckers! And now here we are. How is Ponder Sprocket going to defend child abuse, grooming, illegal acts, and transphobia, you may ask? Why don't we find out and see? Let me just talk and be real with you guys for a second. If you don't care, then by all means, please skip ahead to where I get into what this guy has done at whatever time is on the screen. But I just wanted to say a few things before I get started here. I don't consider myself a ranter. If you've been following me for a while, you may have noticed that all of my legitimate rant videos are gone. Birdie, Sav, hell, even Sleepy if you've been here for a long time. And people generally don't associate me with ranters anymore and instead call me an Art and OC channel, which I highly appreciate and want to be classed as. This community was called bad, so I don't want to be in it anymore. Honey, I didn't even start in your community and people call me a ranter. Just do what you do. However, I'd be lying if I said that I didn't know that someday I was going to have to make this video, no matter how badly I wanted to not be associated with ranters and how much I despised rants and making rants and callouts. It's funny because there's a completely different way this could have been handled that wouldn't have involved Atari having to do anything DA ranting community related. The reason why I'm making this is because this is something the general public needs to be aware about. This guy has a record of incredibly shady stuff that recently has gone way past what myself and others had anticipated. And if this video only protects or raises awareness to one person, then this will have been a video worth making. Oops! Brought awareness to one pond or too many, now look where we are. I'm also not monetizing this video, as making money off of a video like this makes me feel wrong and gross. I think that's about all that I wanted to say, so let's just get started. In the past few days, a couple of people have come forth telling me and others about their experiences with Spockter Theory, who we've decided to keep anonymous. One of them was Ghosty. I, I'm not outing them. They, they outed themselves. Another was Stories. They did it first. There was one who came forth talking about how Spockter had developed feelings for them, sent them nudes, said gross things, literally told them that their boyfriend didn't have to know when they mentioned that they've been in a relationship themselves since November, and more. 
which none of your screenshots have actually shown. This is actually a major pet peeve of mine, and it's a huge problem with this video. If you're going to show screenshots to use as evidence, they should actually be evidence of your claims. Atari claims in order that Spockter developed feelings for them, sent them nudes, said gross things, said their boyfriend didn't need to know in trying to get with someone already in a relationship, and more. Firstly, developing feelings for somebody isn't a crime. The nudes? Yeah. That is a problem, but it's for a completely different reason than you think, and we'll address it later. Just keep it in mind for now. Gross things is subjective. What she's effectively saying here is that Spockter expressed sexual feelings towards this person. The whole boyfriend didn't need to know thing isn't at all showcased in these screenshots. Did it happen? Did it not? Hell if I know, Atari couldn't be bothered to show evidence of this and is now just expecting her audience to believe as much because she's showing screen caps of Spockter being sexual. You know what I also don't see? Responses from the person he's talking to, saying that they're uncomfortable with what he's saying to them. Yes, they say that's so out of my comfort zone, but this is in response to the prodding for nudes, which, yeah, some people are uncomfortable with. They don't all specify this about the rest of the conversation. Even the fact that his icon changes between screenshots tell me that this was going on for a while, or that these specific chats are from different people, and we're not given any indication where one chat starts and the other chat ends. So for all the time they were talking, the other person never expressed that they didn't want to talk about sexual things? If, by what you've said, they thought the things being said were gross, then they should have specified that outright. If they have specified that outright, you haven't showcased this. You can't just expect people to have the same tolerances or boundaries that you do. And in conversing with someone, it's important to make note when they're crossing the line. That's how people come to understand where everybody else's boundaries lay. They have to be told. Keep in mind that this person is a very young teenager. No matter how old they are, it still wouldn't make anything Spockter did to them right. Um, yeah, it would, provided he's not talking to a five-year-old or an eight-year-old. Spockter is completely allowed to talk about sexual situations or topics with other teenagers of his age group. And that will be important again later! If the person on the other end of the conversation doesn't want to talk about that, they have to specify as much. I don't just to go, oh, I have tocophobia and this guy kept telling me about pregnancy and childbirth for weeks on end, trying to vilify them when I didn't outright say myself that I wasn't comfortable with the topic of conversation. Not just, I'm not comfortable with this, because that only tells them that the specific branch of what you're talking about is a no-go zone. That's not how this works! They didn't want the attention and they most certainly weren't giving him an invitation to say and do the things that he did. They never consented to anything and that still matters no matter how old you are. I didn't consent to this conversation! Shut up! A conversation is not an offensive action, it's a discussion. While you would ask, can I do this to you, if you were trying to have sex with someone, you wouldn't ask, can I talk about this with you, in a conversation. The only time that tends to happen is when you're already aware that someone isn't particularly fond of a particular subject, and you're usually involved in the conversation in a group. You don't ask to have conversations, you simply have them and are told based on where the conversation goes, whether or not it was okay, or continuing it is okay. This also counts as sexual child abuse. How oh, fun bags, here we go! Non-contact abuse involves non-touching activities, such as grooming, exploitation, persuading children to perform sexual acts over the internet, and flashing. It includes encouraging a child to watch or hear sexual acts, not taking proper measures to prevent a child from being exposed to sexual activities by others, meeting a child following sexual grooming with the intent of abusing them, Online abuse including making, viewing, or distributing child abuse images, allowing someone else to make, view, or distribute child abuse images, showing pornography to a child, sexually exploiting a child for money, power, or status, child exploitation. So, he is also a child exploiter. But I'm not going to directly specify which of these things he's done because that will end up making me look bad in the long run. Too late, honey bun, I already found it. Not even sugar bun, what a disappointment. Also, this link that Atari provided, keep this in mind too, because holy mother of octopodes, it bites the situation so hard later on I lost my voice raving about it. So let's look at that list again. Encouraging a child to watch or hear sexual acts. 
Well, as far as we've seen, Spockter didn't send anything to the purported victim that could classify as audible or viewable sexual acts. It usually involves videos. Not taking proper measures to prevent a child being exposed to sexual activities by others. Well, somebody's guilty of that, but it ain't Spockter. Meeting a child following sexual grooming with the intent of abusing them. Didn't do that. Here's where we get to the finicky part. Online abuse, including making, viewing, or distributing child abuse images. Allowing someone else to make view or distribute child abuse images, showing pornography to a child. Technically speaking, if what Atari said earlier is to be believed, Spockter is guilty of these. Wanna know how? Because he took and sent a nude of himself. Let that sink in, people. Spockter just turned 17 this April, the same month these videos are coming out. Actually, if I'm going to guess, I think the nudes were probably sent when he was 16. For the majority of his channel's popularity, he was 16. Spockter is a minor. Legally speaking, he's a child. In taking a nude of himself and sending it to another minor of his age group, he created and distributed child porn. Did you know that was illegal? Because most teenagers don't. Most teenagers don't view themselves as children, so they don't think that sexual images of themselves would be legally counted as child pornography. There have actually been teenagers charged with texting out nude images of themselves. This even still happens in states where the age of consent is lower than 18 because sexual images of anyone under the age of 18 is still considered child pornography. Now, I understand why this law exists. I understand why it's upheld. Discounting your own opinion of this law, this is what Atari is condemning Spockter for. She's not even acknowledging that his crime legally involves turning himself into the victim of the crime. Surprising how a little bit of additional context can shed a completely new light on the situation. Look, I won't argue that Spockter shouldn't be sending out nudes to other teens, but don't you dare hide away any part of the situation that might make it morally or legally gray. We do not live in a black and white society. Society. This isn't the first time that this has happened either. There are five other accounts of people coming forward to us with evidence that Spockter did the same stuff to them. Which she doesn't show! Woe is me! I just thought that I should go ahead and put out there that this isn't the first time that he's partook in sexual misconduct. He dated someone before, doing the same stuff he did to the aforementioned person. He dated someone and then tried to get them to cheat with him because their boyfriend, him, didn't need- This is really bad wording. Always said gross things. He said gross things, as in sexual things, to someone he was dating. Oh, the horror. Kept begging one of their friends to draw not safe for work of their OCs, even after the 13-year-old artist said they were uncomfortable with it and just kept saying and doing gross things, as you can see from these screenshots. Fucking where? Did you miss the part where you're actually supposed to show the artist claiming that they were uncomfortable with the situation? Because golly me, I must have had a stroke to miss out on something as important as that. Something Atari also doesn't mention, since I guess this is supposed to be a different person because, surprise to probably no one, I have these screenshots, I grabbed these screenshots from a DeviantArt stash of Ghosty. Yeah, see, they're important. The shots that Atari is currently showing are titled Explicit Convos with Minors. The minors are not labeled. The screenshots are not complete. Nothing is in order. Now what they do show is that during these sections of conversation, the artists do not specify that they are 13 years old. They do not specify that they are uncomfortable with the conversation and they do not ask him to stop. Atari, I recently found out your age. Since I'm not aware whether or not you want it public, I won't say what it is. But because of it, I'm sure there's something here that you're not aware of. It's called predatory intent. Now, I watch a lot of To Catch a Predator, and one of the things they constantly mention is the fact that the predators being arrested in the show are aware of the age of the decoys they are grooming. They are told directly by the decoy that they are underage, so they know how young the person they're talking to is. I don't see any of that here. Even if you want to say, oh, but it says in their sky bio how old they are. Honey, that doesn't matter. You have to be able to prove that Spockter was aware of their age. You have to prove he knew it. And even then, Spockter is talking to one of his peers. He's talking to another teenager. I had teenage friends in high school who were younger than me that I had dirty and silly conversations with. 
I still have friends younger than me, some in high school, who like having gross and sometimes sexually gross conversations because it's fun to joke about that stuff. If you have boundaries that are clearly different than the person you're talking to, then you have to make them aware of it. These screenshots do not show anybody making Spockter aware of their feelings. Do you even evidence? We got in contact with his ex, who had this to say. He was always constantly sexual towards me, and when I told him I was uncomfortable, he'd just go, but dating me will get you used to it. I mean, he's not wrong. It, it might be scummy, but like, why is this even a point? You, if you're not a terribly sexual person, and you're dating someone who is a sexual person, and whom is clearly hinting towards wanting the relationship to go further into that direction, which relationships tend to do, it is practically the point of them, then the logical course of action would simply be to break up with them. If you're not interested in progressing further into the relationship, then why are you in a relationship? Then when my 13-year-old friend was venting, he just turned and said, go touch yourself or something. That sounds like a joke to ease the tension. Oh, but woe to the world, we don't get actual screenshots, just someone recounting what happened. And then to my other 13-year-old friend, he kept pushing her to draw not safe for work of us, too, even though she said she was uncomfortable and didn't want to several times. And when she finally gave in, he kept DMing me really weird stuff even when he said he wouldn't. This is going to come and play a lot here, so we'll get back to it in time, but for now I want you to remember this specific 13-year-old being mentioned and how he was asking for porn. Remember this. He kept constantly going up to me and my friends and be like, what's it feel like to be with a rancher like this? And how does it feel to be with someone ten times more popular than you? Oh no! An ego! Like, really? Oh golly gee, he's kind of a jerk. What do you want? This isn't condemning and this behavior isn't illegal. The fact that you think he has an ego is just being tacked on to the rest of these situations as a means of worsening the load. It's not illegal to be a jerk. Sometimes people just act a way that others don't like, but this shouldn't be some sort of note of condemnation against the guy. When we met, I had they, them on my page, and not once did he call me by them when we dated. This is something I want to bring up. Atari doesn't read the first message here, which says, I don't want to say Spockter's transphobic, but he's a dick when it comes to pronouns. And immediately after that, Atari says... Instead of just correcting himself, he'd refer to me as it. So, as you can see, he's a gross, arrogant asshole who's also transphobic and has a record of doing this stuff. ba da ba ba da ba Wah. He has this whole facade going on to make people think he's older. Voice changer, big adult lizard man talk sprite. One could easily argue that the facade of the deeper voice and making people think he's older was a part of his Spockter character. As far as I've gleaned from the character of Spockter himself, He's supposed to be a hitman, and while I can't find his exact age, he seems to be an older gentleman. Spatic Tech, the blue one, seems like the younger lizard boy. It's not a bad thing to hide yourself behind the facade of a character that isn't you. Do y'all seriously think that I'm nearly as sexy and glorious as the Octomama that is Ponder Sprocket? Y'all trippin'. He's never stated his age anywhere, aside from to his friends, and yet no one questioned him for anything. He's never stated his age to anyone except friends which he's allowed to do. Plus, you know, I don't see your age anywhere, Atari. Not on your DeviantArt, your Patreon, your Instagram, Tumblr, or Twitter. Womp womp. This speaks a lot more negatively to those who didn't outright ask him what age he was, and if he refused to give an answer, then didn't indulge the whole, well, Questioned him for what exactly? How he constantly endorsed not safe for work images of his OC. He literally held a contest where the entire premise was to draw seductive drawings of his OC. No one questioned anything. I didn't actually catch this going in and guys, you don't understand. While I'm writing this script, I'm having a conniption fit. I went to the original contest page and I'll just read it aloud for you. <clears throat> I have points to spare. I shall hold a contest. Contest is for DA only. Details. You are to draw Spockter in the most seductive way you can. Do not break DeviantArt's guidelines when submitting art. Keep it clean. No pornography or explicit and overly nude nudity. He may be wearing whatever you wish him to and posing in any way you wish him to. No pornography or explicit and overly lewd nudity. 
I am screaming internally because, oh my god, this is going to be good in a bit. We'll get more into that later. And before we go on, let it be clear that I don't think using private screenshots in a callout is okay if you're trying to make the person look bad. However, this is a serious issue that has happened way more than once. This isn't just some petty friend drama or some kids arguing with each other. This is someone who's preying on people and using his sub count to intimidate others. This is also someone committing libel! <laughs> I'm also not gonna just sit here and make claims with no evidence either. Just really, really bad evidence. And contradictory evidence, wherein the victim says he wasn't trans, and I ignore reading that point so I can call him trans! <laughs> It is non-contact sexual abuse that people need to be aware of. But back on the topic of Not Safe for Work, he endorses Not Safe for Work drawings of his OC all of the time. All of the time. He posted a DeviantArt status update to all his underage followers linking his Fur Affinity page stating that that was a place to send in your Not Safe for Work drawings of his OC. He even also stated it in his Rick and Morty furry video. Point is, he did all of this without ever mentioning his age. What surprises me is how no one ever asked. Probably because you don't have to ask to not send porn to a child. <laughs> the status update was for the sake of those wanting to be in the contest who were worried about DeviantArt's stricter guidelines on suggestive content. Spockter's contest guidelines directly state that the entries were not to submit pornography or explicitly lewd nudity. And what sort of explicitly lewd nudity exists on a male? Dicks and butts and dicks and butts and dicks and butts and dicks and butts and cock! He's jeopardized a ton of artists by not telling them. They were distributing porn to a minor, which is illegal. Oh my god, I'm so happy I found this. Atari is blatantly ignoring the whole no pornography aspect of Spectre's rules and asking as though people were directly sending a minor porn. Firstly, you have to be aware of the child's age for you to be liable for prosecution for sending them porn. Which is why porn sites have the oh so amazing defense of are you over the age of 18 button that you have to click upon entry. Because if a child lies about their age to view pornography, the distributor is not aware and therefore not responsible for it. If Spockter lies about his age to get access to pornography, the provider is not responsible. Secondly, minors are allowed to draw porn. It's not actually illegal. It's one of those gray areas. Shock of all shocks, guys, yeah. Minors are allowed to be sexual and draw porn. They're just not allowed to create child porn, porn of themselves, or sexually interact with non-minors. They can't be pressured into making porn, but minors are allowed to draw it of their own free will. Actually, <laughs> now that I think about it, I think I also might have drawn porn for a friend of my characters when we went to high school. I mean, it was a skinny dude, fucking a fat dude, so you can't really see any penis. And to be fair, she was also the person who would come up behind me and honk honk on my titties in the middle of the lunch hall. Oh God, and there was that comic that I did for her. Oh God, I think I still have that. Oh, my patrons are in for some hot garbage now. Thirdly, it wasn't porn. Plus, he still isn't 18. He isn't an adult anyway, so he has no right to be asking for this stuff. Especially when most, if not the majority of his audience are underage minors. Atari and everybody else, apparently, seem to be under the impression that minors can't draw their own porn. I mean, fuck guys, even if it was a contest asking for porn, people who didn't want to draw porn simply didn't have to enter the contest. This is actually the dumbest point against Spockter out of everything here. So what have we covered so far? Well, he's legally a sexual predator. That's literally not how that works. A child exploiter. The child being himself. Transphobic. You're actually dumb if you believe this blatant misappropriating of the supposed victim's beliefs. Sent nudes and said gross things to women and other non-consenting people. Sure, sending nudes is scummy. Sending nudes of a minor, himself, is bad. But... Oh, he said something gross to me. Yeah, it's not like my screenshots don't showcase me me telling him that I didn't want to talk about sexual things, and that's just counting that I literally could have just not continued the conversation or blocked him. Honeys, I'm gonna teach you in two quick steps how to deal with this situation. Step one, 
Type out, I'm about to block you because you're being disgusting. Step two, if they continue, block them. Problem solved, 13 year olds, take note. And I swear to all that is wicked and sullied in the world, if one of you comes at me, well, he shouldn't be saying that to a 13 year old in the first place. Spotter was 16 at the time of these conversations. He turned 16 a month before this screenshot was taken. A 16 year old is allowed to flirt with a 13 year old. I actually told my mom about how so many people thought a 16 year old flirting with a 13 year old was pedophilia and she couldn't believe how dumb that was. Yeah, you can argue that it's awful to continue talking about something that those on the other end of the conversation have asked you not to discuss. But that is literally not being shown here. Held contests for people to draw literal porn of his OC. Atari doesn't understand the definition of literal. <laughs> Covering it up as if there were actual genitals being shown. Atari, please. And on top of that, endorsed the shit out of those drawings without ever mentioning his age. Endorsed. He publicly expressed approval for artwork he liked without mentioning how old he was. Oh, what a world, what a world. Only veterans of the ripe old age of 18 are allowed to say, yo man, that pencil masterpiece be snatching livers up in this resin stance, bees niche. I don't see how anyone can defend this. Dead. I can understand people defending Birdie. I mean, I don't agree with it, but she is just a child who was too immature to know any better or know what she was getting herself into. Spockter, on the other hand, I just can't defend him and I don't know or foresee anyone who can or will after all of this, and I'm not even halfway done with my points yet. So let's just go over the rest of these points one by one. He doesn't watch the videos made about him and I guarantee that he isn't going to watch this or anyone's videos. Oh good lord. He is not required to watch videos criticizing him, just like those he criticizes are not required to watch his content. Nobody is. He's just gonna take a hiatus for a week and ignore it and come back and act like nothing happened, which is what he always does. For someone who expects people to take his criticism, he sure doesn't practice what he preaches. Hypocrisy doesn't make you wrong! Also, citation needed! Not about him not listening to others, but about him expecting others to take his criticism. He doesn't pay his artists for his sprites. He was bragging on DeviantArt a few months ago about being the only person in the community to pay for his assets, when he never paid his artist who was literally only working for exposure, which we all know isn't a legitimate payment if you've seen any of my other videos. <laughs> no, no. I love this so-called evidence here. This conversation between the two people who released videos on Spockter. Not even the guy himself. Yeah, he came to me like, Mwah, my artist is having their work stolen. I'm gonna use my power to get fans to attack this person. Mwah. Citation needed. Also, oh no, someone stole artwork, so people are spreading the word to get them to fuck off. Please, the first thing I did when I found my work being sold by somebody else was notify everyone. He doesn't pay his artists. Atari out here spitting facts, y'all. That's how facts work. Yup. Yes siree. Like, I love how he never calls this person by their username. He literally just calls them my artist. The artist that made this, his name is Oblivion's Gate. And I can't thank him enough for going through the time to make me a whole new set of characters. His art is fucking amazing, by the way. Can I say that? Yeah. You guys should probably go give him some support, because he <laughs> definitely deserves it. He did this out of the kindness of his heart. This isn't even difficult for me. He was gloating on Demon Art about a month ago about how he was the only one who bought all this video stuff. I don't even know this person's artist's name. Pentagrin and Atari must live on another planet because the first thing I do when I want to know who the artist of a YouTuber's work is, is check the description. Like in this video, or this video, or this one. I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, but these are credits to the artist, are they not? He literally made a video mentioning the artist. I am crying. And apparently, one, his copy of Vegas was a gift, and two, he doesn't pay his artist. LMFAO, I agree. W my copy of Vegas was a gift. My copy of Flash and Photoshop were gifts. 
Are people not allowed to use the materials at their disposal if they haven't directly paid for them? Okay, so long, Flash. So long, Photoshop and Vegas and anatomy books and sketchbooks. Looks like from now on, I'll be drawing on lined paper in pencil. Oh wait, can't do that either. The pencils came in a Christmas stocking. I don't have the screenshots because his first account got deleted, but this is still proof that it happened. I can't tell if this naivety is precious or infuriating. Here's another little tidbit for you guys. While Atari broadcasts confidently that Spocter is horrible for not paying his artists, guess who actually went to ask some of the artists who drew for him? If you guessed it was any of the idiots in this video, go sit in the corner. I contacted Obscured Flower, originally known as Sergeant Spades, Oblivion's Gate, the current artist for his Spocter Theory sprites, and Chaos 55 t on DeviantArt and asked them about the matter. I made note of the accusations that Spocter does not pay for his artwork and asked for clarification, whether or not it was true, whether there was a reason for it, and whether or not the artist held any ill will towards Spocter as a result. Obscured Flower got back to me stating, for his talk sprites, he's originally come to me after a while of having his old ones by Oblivion's Gate for a while. I'd not been having a very good time with depression and things, and I decided to go ahead with them as he'd been helping me with the depression. Took a while to finish them. While I was still in the line art phase, I believe I'd need to go back on previous stuff, his PayPal had gotten shut down because he'd been figured out for his age, at the time, 16. So he'd pay me back in other ways. Needless to say, I still got paid. I created the second set of sprites for him not too long ago, which was Tech. Yes, I got paid. I don't hold anything ill will towards him, I'm just really sad and very, very disappointed. I contacted Oblivion's Gate in the same manner, asking for their input and experiences. They responded with, When I first drew Spockter's stuff and sprites, they were gifts. He had no knowledge that I would be making these and he never asked for them, only when he wanted new sprites that I was paid. He even gave me some extra cash for the gift work I did for him. He never begged for work and he never used exposure on the table as payment. Spockter was nothing but respectful when it came to the art I was making. Chaos 55 t responded saying, I made some talk sprites to help with his channel, yes. I did not ask for payment, of course. Even when he asked for art about his characters, he made sure to pay me despite him having a small budget at the time. Yes, he and I used to talk on a private server. Some of us tend to talk dirty on there, and a couple of users his age there were, well, more lustful than the adults on there. So I'm not sure if that rubbed off on him. So neither Atari nor Penegrin actually asked the artists who drew sprites for Spockter, whether or not he paid them, or if there was ill will harbored towards him. As far as I can tell, nobody approached the artists asking them this. This is the easiest of the facts to check because all it involves is asking a simple question, but people couldn't be bothered to do that. So uh, he doesn't pay his artist claims? Have some testimonies that can effectively tell you to shove it. He legitimately moaned for money on stream and got mad when people took him seriously. He posted, I'm not moaning for money anymore on DeviantArt one time and I got hella confused over what that meant. So I asked him and he admitted that he begged for donations on streams. What does this money go towards? A fursuit. A fursuit that he also tried to beg to get for free. And let me tell you, as an experienced and basically professional cosplayer myself, I know how hard it is to make outfits, let alone huge entire fursuits. It takes hundreds and hundreds of dollars in effort and work and time to make them, and they aren't things you can make for free. I'm not a fursuiter, but I do know from experience that costumes are never cheap or easy to make. Expecting one for free and top-notch quality is not ideal. Good thing you literally just admitted that the donation money would be going towards the fursuit, meaning that he was no longer expecting to get the suit for free. Another thing I didn't notice on first viewing, and if he's begging for money and you think it's scummy, just don't give him money! Speaking of fursuits, he gives furries a bad name in general. He's literally what the community despises. Sexual predators and people who think that since they're pretending to be a lizard, they can get away with stuff like that just because they aren't part of the social norm. Lizards are the punk rockers of the furry community, evidently. The furry community isn't centered around that and forcefully pushes people like him out of their community. He's also a hypocrite, believe it or not. 
He said a while ago that he was done with rant videos and videos that he always makes, and when the Toxikai shit happened, he made a video about it a day after the drama occurred in the same format that he always used. Would it be really petty of me to point out the beginning of Atari's video where she was all, I'm not a rancher anymore, but I think this is important. Plus, that's not hypocrisy. That's just choosing to do something you said you wouldn't. That's not hypocrisy, that's changing your mind. And hypocrisy doesn't make you wrong. He also endorses tracing, but got mad when someone traced a fan artist's work and sent it to him on Twitter. This isn't a tweet from Spockter. This is a tweet from the artist whose work was traced, mentioning that it was a fan of Spockter who did it. You haven't even showcased that Spockter endorses tracing in the first place. Do I now just get to say without showing any evidence that despite this not being a case of pedophilia, you, Atari, wanted to directly call him a pedophile? Because without showing evidence of that, that would be really bad, wouldn't it? See, I, I, I refuse to use the word pedophile because I think it's too it's too strong a word to just throw at someone because if it turns out it's false, it, it invalidates your entire video. Because I think Atari was trying to like just call him that. I was like, don't don't call him that because you know, go for sexual predator. That's you know Gee! Because that would be really bad, wouldn't it? And one might infer that all the other art weeb imbeciles that saw your video and came to that same conclusion did so because it was worded by someone who already wanted to say he was a pedophile. Oh, and of course I can't find the tweet. What a lovely, happy, joyous day. He also sends his subscribers to attack people. What you see here is a link to a status update where he calls out an art thief and uses the phrase intimidate to get the artist to back off. I know the art thieves suck, but really man, just report the repost and move on. Sending people out after art thieves are only exposing them to more people whom they can then steal more art from. This is what Atari thinks constitutes as evidence, and it saddens me. Firstly, that link doesn't exist anymore, so thanks for that. Secondly, if we're supposed to be under the impression that deleted user 06C1F3B9 is Spockter's Discord account, then let's read this interaction with Pentagrin here. 404, not found. Ugh, this is why I don't agree with the just ignore art thieves mentality, because if they're profiting from it, blocking them does nothing. Yes, they profit, then ignoring them just fucking you over. At the same time, I believe doing rants on art thieves is dumb, because it's a bit overboard. In my opinion, you kind of just want to either privately speak to them or report them. I could, but I've been really drama free lately. I just want to get my hands dirty a bit. I get that people who make rants are trying to warn people, but most of the people they're warning aren't going to be targeted, LMAO. I'm just trying to intimidate them with the status, not gonna lie. Oh well, yeah, that's fair. You've got the audience who imitate them. This is just a difference of opinions. For one thing, Spockter, in this conversation, is explicitly making note of an art thief profiting from the stolen work. And since Pentagrin first brought this up in the conversation, we can assume that the status update had something to do with someone stealing and then profiting from stolen work. So in this scenario, Spockter is spreading the knowledge of someone committing a crime to a larger audience who would take note of it. And since this video you've made is you trying to spread your knowledge of a crime to a large audience, it's almost like you're doing the same thing here. Is. The crimes may be different, but one's investment in taking down particular criminals depends on who they are as a person. You just don't agree with the idea that someone who is selling stolen artwork should be publicly called out for it. I, however, am of the opinion that they should be called out for it, especially publicly. I've done it! So, oh no, I guess I'm a terrible person too, because if I find someone stealing artwork, I'm going to call them a wee little bitch, spread it around so they can't trick people into buying stolen artwork, and try to get them kicked from whatever site or event they're working from. Since the link is down and Atari hasn't provided any sort of screenshot of it, we can't even see what it was he said in the status update itself. Atari claims that he's sending subscribers to attack people, but simply posting a status saying that a person is selling stolen artwork isn't actually doing that. Spockter would have had to actually say to go after the thief in the status's post. So even on that front, we can't be sure if she's telling the truth or simply misunderstanding the intent of the situation. I know the art thieves suck, but really man, just report the repost and move on. 
Sending people out after art thieves are only exposing them to more people whom they can then steal more art from. This is actually stupid. Atari, we're on the internet. If you're going to steal something, you can search anything, find a Google image of it, and take it from the source. They don't need to get a message from someone saying, you're stealing my friend's work, to find a new well to dip into. The point of spreading knowledge of someone selling stolen art is to prevent people unknowingly being sold that stolen art. Because if you don't know that the art is stolen, you might buy it and unwittingly support their illegal practices. So what do we know now? He's a sexual offender, a transphobe, a child exploiter, begs for free not safe for work art of his OC. I have been watching so many of these videos that they're all bleeding together at this point, so I had to go back through the video and check this, but... Okay, so... There exist screenshots of Spockter asking about not safe for work art, but Atari hasn't shown them in her video. Holy crap. Up to this point, Atari's evidence has been flimsy or debatable at best, completely disconnected at worst. But now I'm aware that evidence does exist that she could have used, and she doesn't. Mind you, I've read the screenshots, so I know it's not good evidence, and we'll talk about it later, but at this point, this is just pathetic. ...and heavily endorses it without ever disclosing the fact that he's a minor, held a contest for people to draw not safe for work art of his OC, begged for a free fursuit, gives furries in general a bad name, moaned for money on a live stream, is a hypocrite, sends his subscribers to attack people, ignores any and all videos made about him, and doesn't pay his artist. There's probably so much more that I'm missing, and we also aren't even done with this video yet. Oh, don't you worry, honey. Mama Ponder's here to tell you all the things you're missing. Still don't know how people will be able to defend any of this. And the he's just a child excuse doesn't justify it. He's 17. He knows what he's doing. He's gonna be an adult next year. Yes, let's just blatantly continue to ignore things so that we can push the very worst narrative on the guy. Let's get things straight here, you guys. Spockter is 17 now, yes, but at the time of the screenshots that Atari has been showing, he was 16. He even admitted in a recent video spurred on by these accusations that he turned 17 in April. We often look at situations with 16 year olds doing stupid shit and say that they're just stupid teenagers. Certain things are obviously looked at in a harsher light such as manslaughter, murder, or pedophilia, but even then, depending on the severity of the case, there's a reason that people under the age of 18 are generally tried as juveniles. Something that I want to make note of that most people probably aren't aware of, despite the legal age of adulthood being 18, the brain doesn't stop growing until you're around 24 or 25. Yeah, technically speaking, at the age of 16 or 17, Spockter is barely halfway through mental puberty. We get this number because it's around the age of 25 that your prefrontal cortex finishes its development. The prefrontal cortex, PFC, is the cerebral cortex which covers the front part of the frontal lobe. This brain region has been implicated in planning complex cognitive behavior, personality expression, decision making, and moderating social behavior. The basic activity of this brain region is considered to be orchestration of thoughts and actions in accordance with internal goals. The most typical psychological term for functional functions carried out by the prefrontal cortex area is executive function. Executive function relates to abilities to differentiate among conflicting thoughts, determine good and bad, better and best, same and different, future consequences of current activities, working towards a defined goal, prediction of outcomes, expectation based on actions, and social control. The ability to suppress urges that, if not suppressed, could lead to socially unacceptable outcomes. The frontal cortex supports concrete rule learning, while more anterior regions along the rostrocaudal axis of the frontal cortex support rule learning at higher levels of abstraction. He is going to be an adult soon! He's going to be a legal adult soon. The legal age of adulthood being 18 had a big part to do with World War II needing soldiers and men younger than the general accepted age had to be considered. The draft was lowered from 21 to 18, and a subsequent outcry of why can we die for our country but not vote led to the legal age of adulthood being 18. You want to know something else interesting? The legal drinking age is 21 in the United States. Want to know why? Because at the age of 21, your brain has developed to the point where you are less likely to develop an addiction to alcohol. Spockter was literally in the middle of middle adolescence when these events were taking place. His prefrontal cortex hasn't finished developing. He's a hormonal teenage boy writhing around amidst a massive fan base that is constantly professing their love of him and his work. Yes, 
Legally, in a year, Spockter will be tried as an adult. But don't you dare come at me and pretend like a 16-year-old moving on to 17 automatically gains so much emotional maturity that he's not going to be a stupid hormonal git. Now, since he is going to be a legal adult, it's important to make him aware that he's going to have to be treading lightly with his fans, and he'll definitely want to start asking people how old they are before he gets too emotionally or hormonally involved. But at 16, flirting with a 13-year-old, not even having the part of his brain that determines what is and is not a good idea developed? Fuck off! Treat the actual crime, but do not shame a lack of behavioral or social coordinations that teenagers can't help not having. Honey boy, you guys better go watch my The Spawn of Cringe video because I'm about three seconds away from ripping you all a new one. And I'm 25, so that definitely is illegal. Adults or not, it doesn't excuse all that he's said and done. I hate to break it to you. Atarius, judge, jury, and executioner, motherfucker. I'm sure that everyone is wondering by now what my experience with Spockter has been like. All I can say is that we hardly ever spoke and only got together to discuss small, mediocre YouTube things. I mean, one time he called my server at the time self-righteous and also told me on another occasion that I didn't know how YouTube worked. He also apparently had a crush on me too, according to one of our sources, even though it was just randomly stated out of nowhere. That's literally not a screenshot from Spockter. It's hearsay. Go rip off a toenail. And shit talk to me for having different video styles, but for me, I don't think that any of that stuff is as incriminating as what he's done to other people. You don't say! Doesn't mean that what he said to or about me was justified. He's allowed to not like you and therein voice his opinion of it. He's also allowed to voice his opinion of you if you're talking to one another. If you don't like it, you can tell him to shove it because you are also allowed to do that. Get your fee-fees out of here. I'm tired of people thinking that you aren't allowed to speak if it'll hurt somebody's feelings. But a few petty insults didn't bother me and weren't enough for me to think that he was a bad person until I was told about all of the sexual harassment and more. Hey, you, yeah, those of you listening, the sexual harassment thing? Don't fret. I got a big hullabaloo to end the video off with. We good. Which is what led to me and others to make these videos. As I stated at the beginning of this video, we all knew that someday we'd have to make this. He's someone who's so arrogant and thinks he's so untouchable and yet everyone knew that he was going to slip up and that we'd all have to cover it. Sounds like a bunch of shitty frat boy friends hiding in the bushes waiting to snap a picture of a dude shitting himself while he's drunk because they saw ahead of time that he had a drinking problem. Oh, hey, frat boys! That's another good example of underdeveloped prefrontal cortexes. I also hate making rants, rants in general, and callouts. And as soon as I actually started to get out of the community, I get pulled back in for a video like this. But this is a video that I was willing to make and a risk that I'm willing to take. As soon as I think I'm out of commentating on deviant weebs, they pull me right back in! People need to be aware of what he's been doing. I think that callouts are justifiable if the person you're calling out is a legitimate threat to others, which Spockter is. And if I'm called a rancher again over a PSA, but this video still saves or spreads awareness to at least one person, then this will have been a video worth making and a video worth taking that risk for. It spreads to the wrong person! So, beware of Spockter. Beware that he's a sexual predator, a transphobe, a sexual harasser, a child exploiter, and doesn't pay people for the assets they make for him to use for his videos. Beware of Atari! She will blatantly misunderstand screenshots and simply go by what people have told her about the situation rather than looking at it objectively from both sides. She will also call you transphobic when the person who you offended said you weren't. She will complain about people not paying or crediting artists while not only posting this video without a link to the artist who made her sprite, but not even bothering to ask the artists in question. She will criticize you for having a different opinion on art theft and will ignore an aspect of the situation making it more serious than she's implying. She will also team up with a skeleton who also can't argue against a 16 year old effectively. Oh hi Pentagon! I want to set this straight right now. This is a serious video on a serious matter. I'm not joking, this isn't some sort of prank and it's something that has deeply disturbed me and a lot of the people I associate with. <laughs> it's funny because I look at the blatant mischaracterization accusations of pedophilia and sexual assault to be serious too, and I'm insanely angry that two videos with such obviously flawed arguments and evidence have ruined some teenage kid's life because people in your community are practically mindlessly following your word on the matter. <sighs> oh. Oh, but 
You go on. This behaviour is unacceptable from anyone, regardless of their popularity, and I'm sickened to think that I used to associate with and defend this individual. Indeed, misrepresenting a situation to make a 16-year-old flirting with a 13-year-old look like pedophilia is certainly unacceptable from anyone. I'm sorry if I'm getting a little ahead of myself. The first video was a hassle and I've still got four more. This video isn't monetized because I think it's too gross to monopolize a matter like this. I don't want this to become some kind of circus where people come forward and start making allegations without evidence. Those people do more harm than good. <laughs> especially by invalidating those who were personally involved. Because this is such a sensitive topic, I will be putting comments under review. I know people like to make jokes and make light of these kinds of situations, but I don't think it's appropriate to do that here. Spockta, I know you're not going to watch this, because you've admitted enough times to me and other people that you don't watch any critical videos about yourself, which is incredibly ironic. But if this video stops one person from endangering themselves by talking to you, then it's done its job. I knew you were a pervert from the beginning. The alarm bell started ringing when you asked young children and those older than you to draw you porn for a competition. Oh, glory hole days. Atari is apparently not the only one who can't read. The two of them are just blatantly inserting the narrative that Spockter was asking for porn from minors, but to anyone who wasn't listening with cat and goat wax plugging their ears, they'd probably recognize that the contest wasn't directed towards minors, nor did it say to draw porn. Yeah, fun fact, you guys. If you create an online contest and minors end up seeing the notice about the contest, that does not mean that you're making a contest for minors. The only instance where this would be applicable is if the contest entry guidelines specified that you had to be younger than 18 to enter. But here's Spockter's contest guidelines and I don't see anything of the sort. The journal for the contest is still on Spockter's DeviantArt page, so anyone willing to check their claims could have just moseyed on over and seen that they were talking pure octopusing. Even if you want to claim, oh, but Spockter has a predominantly young viewer base, it doesn't matter. He's not in control of who watches and follows his content. That's like if a horror channel garnered a large fan base with young people, and we were then told to change their content to fit the demographic. That's not how this works. You can't control who your content attracts unless your content denotes targeting specific age groups. Like saying you can't join this contest if you're over 18! But I thought you had the sense and dignity to not go this far. Dad! So I'm gonna give you guys five seconds to figure out the huge fuck up that Pettigrin just admitted to. Here's a hint. I mentioned it earlier and told you to remember it. Ready? Go! One, two, three... Pettigrin committed non-contact sexual abuse! <laughs> Sorry. Blew my load a little too quick on that one. But yeah, Pettigrin's journal reads... Hi guys, it's recently been brought to light that there are certain people in this community asking for sexually explicit art to get drawn for them, despite being minors. It goes on to say, It makes me sick to my stomach seeing people getting coerced into drawing this kind of stuff, even if it's for contests or whatever. Just in this video, Pentagrin is making note of the fact that she knew how old Spockter was. Now, I've already made note that the contest submissions were not in fact pornography, but Pentagrin was under the impression that they were. In the non-contact abuse link that Atari provided and read off, the second example of non-contact abuse is not taking proper measures to prevent a child being exposed to sexual activities by others. Pentagrin didn't tell the people doing the art for Spockter that he was too young to be accepting porn, despite knowing that he was asking people for it under the illusion that he was older. She didn't make a video, she didn't tweet about it, she didn't contact DeviantArt about it, she sat on her arse and made a vague journal that revealed and did nothing. You guys understand why I looked at this video and thought this was such a juicy tidbit? Expose one deviant weeb and you expose them all! <laughs> You like to pretend you're some autonomous force that can't be reckoned with, and I have to laugh because everyone knew you were gonna slip up eventually. I just wish you didn't slip in the worst way possible. The worst way possible is defamation by deviant weebs. You like to act like a big man, but no big man sends nudes to someone who doesn't want them, someone who is already in a relationship. Yeah, I won't deny that. It's inappropriate. Spockter, don't be the dick pic guy. Nobody likes the dick pic guy. Someone who's told you they're uncomfortable with the conversations you were having, and yet you still persisted to have those conversations. With this note, we're actually going to take a break from Pentagrin's video and shimmy on over to Stories. Stories is another art weeb, and as 
I mentioned before, revealed herself to be one of the people that Spockter had been messaging. Specifically, she's the one that these specific screenshots Pentagrin is showing came from, or at least some of them. See, the problem is that all the screenshots are so cut up. We're never actually given a full picture of the conversation. It's very easy to take things out of context in that situation. And that was my biggest problem with these videos going in. Luckily, Stories posted a video showing us a little more of the conversation. While her intent was mostly just to showcase that the conversation was real and not photoshopped, with that video, I was able to piece together a little more than what Atari and Pentagrin showed us. This is kind of misleading because Stories isn't really showing any investigations, just the conversations between her and Spockter. What you are about to hear is a transcript from my experience. Atari doesn't understand literal. Stories doesn't understand transcript. With Spockter theory. Be respectful and listen carefully. I was scared to even talk about this, let alone mention it to anyone, because it's honestly terrifying to come out talking about something like this. I had talked to Spockter theory. The moment I had spoke with him more often, he began to get increasingly sexual, which of course I had never experienced, so I passed it off as a joke. I had developed a friendship with him. I had told him that stories wasn't real and that I had existed instead. I had also developed feelings for him, since he was very caring towards me. Now that was pretty common he had later advised me about, bragging about how many girls had he had swooned into his arms. This led to me ignoring a hell of a lot of red flags that were thrown directly into my face. I had ended up getting into a loving relationship in November. This didn't stop him from being this way, and in fact, he had developed feelings for me. Whether or not they were romantic, I never knew, but I knew that it was sexual by how he acted. All right, long bit to talk about, but here we go. You've already claimed that Spockter started talking to you in a manner that quickly turned sexual when you first met, but that you developed a friendship despite that. Now, we're given no indication of how long the friendship was, but in mentioning that you got into a relationship in November, we can surmise that the longest you probably knew him would maybe be roughly since his channel started really growing, maybe around August of 2016, and the shortest being just before November of 2017. If this was a long-running friendship where Spockter started off being and has continued to make sexual remarks, then in what situation do you expect him to automatically know that the manner in which he's always talked to you as a friend is no longer okay? Now I'm not saying that the manner of speaking was or was not appropriate, but if I met someone and early in our conversation we started talking about politics, and over the course of the relationship we had continued to have politics in our conversations, I'd be surprised if one day they told me not to talk about politics anymore. You've already admitted that you had feelings for Spockter, and he later developed feelings for you. Had you previously expressed your feelings for Spockter that might have spurred on the topics of conversation, especially if he was starting to share your feelings. And sometimes people hit on those in a relationship, especially if there have been expressed shared feelings between the two parties. It's not necessarily always good, but it does happen. It happened to me, and I don't really hold any ill will towards those involved because we were young and stupid. If there had ever been a point where you told Spockter that because you were in a relationship you didn't want to engage in sexual conversations with him, then that would lend more to your assertion of him being sexually forceful. But we haven't seen anything of the like thus far. In fact, the screenshots shown are fairly recent, as in March and December recent. What we're gonna see in a moment is at least one example of stories explaining that she's uncomfortable, so let's move on to that, and later I'll try to go through as much of the conversation as I was able to piece together from the video. And while I ignored a lot of things and let him slip under my radar that I would have easily yelled at someone else over, I wish I could have called him out on it the first chance I got. So, you're acknowledging that despite knowing your boundaries and saying that had other people said something similar, you would have shut them down, you still let Spockter continue with the sexual conversation. Um, don't you think that letting him say things that you would have punished others for would give him the impression that you had no issue with him specifically saying them? If I go into a cafe where you can put your own whipped cream onto your drinks and the owner penalizes other customers for putting too much on whilst letting me put on as much as I want, I'm going to get the impression that I'm under special treatment. Why would you admit to giving Spockter special treatment but then also want him to somehow know instinctively that this was a bad thing? I had always warned him to be careful out of pure care for others, but I realized that he doesn't care for others. Not as long as they aren't giving him anything. I lost my feelings for him. 
and I decided that my investigation needed to see his true colors. I threw out a few responses, nothing too bad in regards to what dis disgusting topics he had brought up with me, but he had decided to continue regardless of me stating that I was uncomfortable, or that I had a boyfriend, or even hinting that something was wrong, and I explicitly remembered the message that's burned into my memory. It's okay if he doesn't know. I mean, would be really nice to actually see the conversation where this happened, especially since you're bringing up others. One screenshot seemed, I'm gonna be honest, completely inconsequential. I won't deny it's a shitty thing to say, it's okay if he doesn't know, encouraging you to cheat on your boyfriend. But the instances where you've asked him to stop? We've seen one, and I'll get to it in a sec. There has been a screenshot of someone, I'm assuming you, saying three fucking times I'm not comfortable means stop. But we don't see what was said before that or what Spocter's response was after that. I'm not saying it's okay to continue saying things that make someone uncomfortable if you're asked to stop. I am saying that your examples lack context as well as the response of the accused party, which you're also inferring was negative. I would also like to point out the date of this screenshot. This conversation took place on March 9th of this year. So did this one. This one says, yesterday. This says that either this specific message was also within that conversation, but for some reason you pulled a screenshot of it the next day without screenshotting the other parts of the thread, or, it says that this message is from a recent conversation, likely that happened as Pentagram and Atari's videos were being made. I would almost go as far as to say that this message came from a conversation in response to you knowing about the videos being made and therein trying to shut down Spockter right before they were finished. I mean, to be fair, that's a guess on my part. So in this supposed conversation, we don't know if you started to engage with the intent of telling him off or if Spockter started the conversation with more sexual talk that simply broke the camel's back. If the former were the case, this particular message wouldn't count as an example of you telling him to stop. Additionally, the fact that you have admitted going back to talk to Spockter with the intent of investigating him is a problem. We don't know how long ago you made that decision. So while the conversations from March 9th might have been genuine conversations between the two of you, it also might have been you admittedly going in to see how far Spockter would go in the conversation. The fact that so little of the actual conversation is shown and that the majority of the conversations shown are recent, for all we know, could be because these were the instances you were trying to get him to say something sexually explicit and incriminating. Actually, for all we know, your willingness to let him continue with sexual stuff might have led him to believe you still harbored feelings for him, assuming he knew in the first place, and him continuing the conversation was him trying to feel the waters and see how things went with you. This would be a trap made to make him look bad. You guys see why good evidence is important, right? With that said, we're going to have a look at what I've pieced together from the conversation stories brought up at the beginning of the video. A conversation where a lot of the examples of Spockter being lewd on a Discord server seem to have come from. I've compiled as many of the conversation pieces shown between Stories and Spockter as I can in order listed by the date above. Every instance where you see a number of blocked messages are messages from Spockter that Stories has not revealed. For the ones that are revealed, they are highlighted in yellow below the amount of messages it consists of. So the section of the March 9th conversation we're privy to starts off with five blocked messages. Whatever was said, Stories answers with... Uh, how do I even answer that? What image is the light? Well, you know what I want. Mm? I'd love to see those legs open up. You don't gotta give a good angle. You can just let me see that stomach shot, I don't care. Uh-huh, that, that's so out of my comfort zone. I'll step out of mine then. Ask me anything, huh? Just as long as there's no face involved in the lewd shot. But I'm not comfortable with doing that. Three blocked images. Thank you. Two blocked images. Noted. It cuts off what story says here, so I don't know what it is. Then we have... One blocked image. Yep. Two blocked messages. Okay, so let's break down this conversation. Since Spockter answers Stories' initial question with a segue into, I'm guessing nudes? We can probably guess that the question Stories was lacking a response to was maybe something about sexual positions, or favorite porn, or favorite type of sexy imagery. 
Maybe something along those lines. Mind you, I could be very wrong. Spogter basically answers his view of the question, to which Stories says that it makes her uncomfortable. In this scenario, we can guess that the expectation of performing the act Spockter mentioned on camera is specifically what makes her uncomfortable. Spockter then stops talking about Stories in explicit poses, and instead asks what she would want to see of him. Stories expands by saying that she's still uncomfortable with the topic, even if they're talking about nudes of Spockter and not her. Then there are three blocked messages, and then Story says, thank you. I'm sorry, what? She says, I'm uncomfortable, Spockter says something, and then Story thanks him for it. Um, in playing devil's advocate, you could look at the three messages and say that maybe Spockter sent her an inappropriate picture, rescinded it, and apologized. But you can also look at it and think that Spockter acknowledged that what he was saying made stories uncomfortable and responded by stopping. This is why randomly cutting out parts of the conversation you're using as evidence is a bad thing. I look at this and see a potential part of the conversation where Spockter listened when someone said he was making them uncomfortable. Something that Atari, Pentagon, and Story have all stated multiple times that he did not do. Maybe something else happened, maybe I'm right. Who knows? We certainly don't. Two blocked messages. Lamel, good luck. Yeah, okay, send my dick home. No, you. Okay, triple smiley face emoji. Come here, BB, I'll lick it real good. This is why people think you're gay. But you don't got dick. I... Say it! Say it! You want to fuck, is that it? No. Damn. Oh, you really thought I was thinking that. You're a kinky person. I mean, how could I not? If I had a pussy for a day, I don't know what I'd do. I'd probably make more jokes about it than anything, to be honest. Girls, girls, I understand your period. It's awful, girlfriend. You literally have zero limits as a girl. I'm aware. Wink wonk. Too bad you can't orgasm as fast as we can. Shades emoji. False. Yeah, never mind. A bath faucet can fuck you. Oh! No. No, I'm not even saying that one. I'm lack like, woo! Never tried. Please do. For me. I told Gem about it. She orgasmed like three times in five minutes, and no, it's not a porn ad. Well, mm -hmm. girls are different, so Ye. we'll see. Tell me how it goes, though. I'm, I'm curious. Okay, okay, okay. I'm gonna go into my SAT. Gotta leave my phone in the car. Wish me luck, swirling heart emoji. Smiling face, till the, what the fuck is the, cat, is that cat face? Is that what that emoji is? Is that cat face? I think it's cat face. You'll be asleep when I come back unless you block my words on screen. Depends. Four blocked messages. I mean, fuck guys. I'm sorry, but I look at this and I see someone engaging in the conversation, if being notably less sexually enthusiastic than the other party. And knowing that Stories admitted to delving back into conversations with Spockter, knowingly trying to gather evidence of him pushing the limits? If I wasn't trying to look at this from both sides, I would think that Stories was gathering evidence back in March, and that's why she chose to placate his sexual behavior. Which isn't evidence. I mean, if you're just trying to have a conversation with him and he keeps going in a sexual route and you ask him to stop, that's one thing. But if you go into a conversation and allow him to keep saying things and engage in the conversation yourself, of course the conversation is going to continue. This isn't Jared Fogel saying, hot damn guys, I love fucking kids, and you saying, uh-huh, to get him to keep incriminating himself under the illusion that you're also into fucking kids. This is a teenager talking sexually and continuing to do so because the person he's talking to is engaging in the conversation with him. He's not saying, hot damn, I sure love fucking kids, He's saying, hot damn, I sure am a teenager with a sex drive. The beginning of the conversation seems like the kind of shit I talk about with friends. Actually, yeah, never mind. The whole conversation seems like that. Hey, yo, Scarlet, am I bad for wink wonking you across the bedroom? For the last time, Ponder, I am not a lesbian. You always used to talk about the meaning of life. You still have those weird moments? I have my moments. No, I'm... Trying to change the subject, goddammit. Oh, oh, dick fuck. I thought you were comparing me to something. I was asking if you still have those moments. Rarely. Like, almost never. Is that recently? Or did you have them more in the past? 
more in the past, but I'm settled and I don't really care. I'm chill as fuck right now. This literally had nothing to do with anything sexual. What? Why was this even brought up as evidence? Just a shower or a bath faucet. And thinking emoji? You don't know this one, I'm guessing. Uh, okay, good. Says a lot about you, shifty eyes. Crying laughing emoji. I don't care. Glow sticks, Labal. No, Lamo, stop. Fuck, I can't spell today. You'd be surprised. Care to share? Sharing is caring. This better not be one of those instances where you're claiming you asked him to stop because putting LMAO in the middle of that, I don't know if you knew, but that means laughing my ass off, kind of makes it seem like you're thinking it's funny. Oh yeah, content-wise, they're definitely talking about masturbatory aids. Don't put strange things into your sex holes, children. I know a dude who would. How many objects have you tried? Give me a number. Pfft. Okay, I can legit say a goddamn cucumber Knock that out. I highly doubt you did that. No, I believe it. It's dangerous. Don't do it. Laughing crying emoji. How is it dangerous? Yeast infection. Just, it can get nasty. Look, food isn't supposed to go in there. I don't know how to read these collection of letters. Yeah, I'm not going to do that anyway. Lamau. Still engaging in the conversation. Like, guys, this is an evidence of Spockter doing what you claim, except for solicitation. Yes, that is bad. Spockter done goofed. I will not defend. But the whole, he kept talking about things when I was uncomfortable. No, no, these screenshots don't show that. In fact, things that you mentioned in this video could lead one to believe that these screenshots were gathered under false pretenses with the goal of exposing Spockter, making himself look the worst, when he was spurred on by thinking someone was okay with his sexual advances. Holy gee! Like, I was going into this video at first with, this is lackluster evidence at best, but god fuck! It's scary to see how awful he went when I sent him one heart emoji. It's scary to see how low he went when I sent one smiley emoji. You sent him a heart emoji, acknowledging that you knew that he had feelings for you. Guys, word of advice. If you send a heart emoji to a horny teenage boy, he's going to act like a horny teenage boy, especially if he already likes you. It's almost like you're giving him the impression that you like him back. It's awful to have your idol that you looked up to expose themselves to you literally and figuratively and show who they really are. Literally? Yes. That is a huge no-no. Figuratively? Nobody's idol is perfect. Why would you expect a 16-year-old boy to be perfect? I don't feel bad for acting and letting him be a fucking idiot. Acting like you're okay with the sexual advances of someone whom you already denote as having feelings for you, making him think that the sexual advances are okay and therein spurring them on. Letting the evidence pile up on its own was one of the best decisions I could have ever made to help others. But you didn't let it pile up on its own. You just admitted going back into conversations with him and playing a part so that you could make him look stupid. Are you fucking kidding me? The rest of Stories' video is just her opinion on Spockter as of this moment and telling others to come forward if they feel targeted or harassed. Which, yeah, you should. So we're going to shift focus back to Pentagrin's video. <sighs> you know who got in touch with me as well? Your ex. You know, your ex who you lied about on everyone's servers, making us ban them because you vaguely called them a blackmailer. I feel like I should be mad at this, but yeah, when a friend says their ex blackmailed them, you usually tend to believe your friend's side of the story. Furthermore, we're not going to be told what exactly it was that Spockter was claiming his ex blackmailed him with. We don't even see his ex's side of the story. This is just vague, my friend told me a thing and I believed them. Ugh, I want to die and take the entire DeviantArt ranting community down to hell with me. You know what? You wouldn't need to worry about your ex blackmailing you if you weren't a fucking terrible partner to begin with. That is a fucking stupid point and you should be ashamed. Like, wait, is, th is this the implication that she did blackmail him? And you're saying, oh, but he's terrible, so it's justified. But then he would have been telling the truth in that screenshot you showed where you bitch that he complained that his ex had blackmailed him? What? Fucker, 
Either it didn't happen and he lied about it, making his ex look like a bad person, or he told the truth and his ex is actually someone who would blackmail a person. Wouldn't the person doing the blackmailing also be a terrible person? Therein also making the ex a terrible person? Who cares if two terrible people are terrible against each other? Ah, my brain! I had to apologize to them because I felt so guilty for banning them for doing nothing wrong but for hating your fragile ego. I'm starting to think we don't even get to know what happened, and this is just gonna be a case of he told me one thing and then they told me the other, but I'm gonna believe the second person because reasons. I know someone's gonna come out of the woodwork and criticize me for using private screenshots, which I understand is a bad move to make if you're doing this just to make someone look bad, but I believe this is a more serious matter that people need to be aware of. This isn't an isolated incident, because I know more than seven people have had similar issues pertaining to Spockter, and that's not okay. Okay. This isn't just some kid getting into an argument and wanting to shame one another. No, no, no. This is someone tactily preying on people and using their popularity to intimidate them into not saying anything. That is literally not what that screenshot showed. It's non-contact sexual abuse in its rawest form. Which you would know all too well about, huh, Pentagrin? I also don't want to be the asshole who sits here and doesn't provide evidence and just expects you to believe me. Oh, but why change tactics halfway through the video? And the evidence that we've gathered just happens to be these screenshots. Never mind, everyone's still dumb, the world carries on. So why am I involved if I haven't dealt with any of this firsthand? Because people who were emotionally manipulated by Spockta have come to me asking for help. Regardless of how many subscribers I may have, I still share a lot of them with him and I have to give these victims a voice. Wait a minute. Show me that screenshot. Then there's this other kid who was 12 at the time who kept calling him daddy slash trying to turn him on, etc, etc. Instead of Spock being the mature one, just saying stop it to a 12 year old, he lets her basically give him boners and shit. Are you kidding me? The 12 year old was hitting on him? Something that is legal. Holy shit. You remember how I said I told my mom about this? In response, she told me about a time when she was 13 and was trying to hook up with a 16 year old. This is actually, this is actually natural. Younger teens tend to be attracted to older teens because they're more physically and mentally developed. You know, the opposite of pedophilia. Guys, the legal defining trait of a pedophile, and I've discussed this before in my Spawn of Cringe video, so if y'all didn't have a problem with it there, you don't get to fucking pick and choose, is someone who is at least 16 years of age and whom is sexually attracted to those at least five years younger than them. Now, one, by the very definition, this isn't pedophilia. And two, holy shit, this is another thing I didn't notice coming in, but was Spockter actually looking at the 12 year old? Was he seeing them? Was he getting turned on by their appearance? Or was he getting turned on because someone was feeding into his kink? People who are sexually attracted to children are sexually attracted to a lack of sexual development features. Someone in Spockter's legal age group feeding into his kink either audibly or with text isn't him being attracted to a child! HOLY! This is twisting the narrative to the nth degree. <sighs> what? Can I even keep going with you guys? My stamina is flawless, mind you, but I don't know how much more I can tell you that you're being stupid. Okay, continue. I myself have had some very unsavory run-ins with Spockta, but the sexual abuse is paramount and should not be swept under the rug or overshadowed by petty things. You can still like his content. I don't want him to get a free pass to do this shit though because he has more subscribers. He's already made it abundantly clear to a lot of us that he thinks he's better than us because of the amount of subscribers he has. Remember the way I managed to make you leave your own server, Spockta, because I called you out on that? Yeah. I don't want people thinking that this is how relationships work. I don't want people thinking that this is acceptable in any circumstance. I want to say it right now that I want nothing to do with him in the future. Once this video goes up, he's blocked on all my accounts, he's gone from my life. I want nothing to do with him or any of his close circle who will inevitably get involved. 
I know what he's like. He'll never admit anything publicly and he'll always want to save face. He'll start shit and then hide and face no consequences. I'm calling it now. He's gonna go on a hiatus and not say anything about this. I don't think I'm allowed to use the Nostra dumbass remark on two deviant weaves in a row. I'm not a forgiving person, and as someone who has been sexually abused in my real life in the past, I have no remorse for what I'm saying now, because I know this shit can drastically alter your perception on what a relationship should be like. And these videos can drastically alter your perception on the alleged crimes of a child! People shouldn't suffer in silence, people shouldn't be intimidated by someone just because they have a larger following than them. Hennigren, why the hell are you showing these screenshots now? You didn't say anything to Spockter at the time that you disagreed with his tactics of spreading the word of an art thief and... Oh, you motherfucker. Gee, I wonder why Pentagrin cut off the bottom of the screenshot here. Could it be because the full image shows her saying that him trying to intimidate the art thief with the status post was fair considering the size of his audience? I thought... I'd have to provide an example of cutting out things from conversations to manipulate the narrative, but fucking A, Pentagrin brought an example to the table all on her own. Hey Pentagrin, if you say that his tactics are fair at the time, you don't get to then ignore the fact that you said it and condemn his actions afterwards. You both agreed with it at the time of the conversation. Because you know what? That following can turn on you in the blink of an eye. Hi, my name's Ponder Sprocket. Friends call me blink of an eye. I've warned Spock that his obsession for porn will bring him down. And you know what he said? He said he stopped caring. I'm so angry with how dishonest it is to use this screenshot here. This screenshot is discussing Spockter's lackluster attitude towards moderating not-safe-for-work channels on a Discord server. That doesn't have anything to do with his obsession with porn. And did everyone just forget that Discord has this? There's already something put into place notifying them that they shouldn't be in that channel if they're younger than 18. The only way of being able to tell otherwise is if they said their age. I think that says a lot about a person when they stop caring about the legality and repercussions of their actions and it paints a very bleak picture of them. It's really funny that Pentagrin shows that screenshot as if that was the legal problem here. You want to know what I don't care about, Spockta? I don't care about you. This entire video would beg to disagree. On to the next catastrophe. Hey guys, I'm Turkey, and it's come to my attention that the YouTuber Spockter Tech, or better known as Spockter Theory, has been outed recently. And I want to make this video to help spread the information. As I've said before, I'm a victim of sexual assault myself, and I'd really hate for this to all blow over and for him to get away from this scot-free. This seems to be a running thing with a lot of the people latching onto this situation. That being that most of them are victims of sexual assault. Now, I'm not going to make fun of people who have experienced sexual assault. It's horrible, and I honestly wish that it had never happened to you. But I worry that this experience may be interfering with their abilities to view the videos objectively. I worry that because they have already experienced and don't want anyone else to experience sexual assault, that they're too willing to believe the claims at hand rather than look deeper into them. This is something that we should always avoid, especially growing up because it will help us learn to make this a norm later in life. <laughs> or what do I know? There's about 158 videos made about this situation, thousands of people believing in it, so maybe I'm wrong and everyone's just really susceptible to trickery, in which case I have a lovely house in the Hamptons that you might want to make an offer on. The information that I gathered for this video, including the screenshots, were all sourced from Pentagrin and Atari, whose videos on the issue will be linked in the description if you'd like to watch those too, as they have more personal involvement with Spockter. And that's where you went wrong! Only getting your information from Atari and Pentagrin. Bit of a, um, teaser for you cuties, but I went further. Why am I saying a teaser? You already know I went out and asked the artists. If you don't know what he's being accused of, he has been outed as being transphobic, sexually harassing underage children, and unknowingly causing people to distribute porn to a minor. <coughs> okay, well, unknowingly distributing porn to a minor isn't a crime, so good luck on that front. I will rage at the transphobia argument and sexual harassment? This is debatable, like, highly debatable. 
I've already shown that we might not be able to trust the March screenshots provided by Stories because she acknowledged that she at one point went into a conversation with Spockter purposely trying to see how far he would go. Harassment also tends to occur over a period of time. We could perhaps make the argument for when he was dating Ghosty, but we don't know for how long they were dating. Plus, Spockter is also underage. How do none of you people know that it's okay for teenagers to say sexual things to other teenagers? It's not illegal! He has openly mocked a person's wishes to be referred to as they, and when he was asked to correct himself, he referred to said transgender person as it. This is completely unacceptable and just outright disrespectful. It's not hard to respect someone's pronouns, and it's really low to mock them for their choices and their personal identity. You have absolutely no say in how they choose to identify, and making fun of them for it makes you an asshole. <coughs> It's funny because you just claim that people who are trans choose to identify as trans. Honey, gender dysphoria is a mental disorder. You can't just go to the grocery store and pick it up at an aisle five with your depression and social anxiety. There's no other way to go around it, and I'm not going to tiptoe around it. If you make fun of and mock people for being transgender, fuck you. If you don't agree with someone being transgender, whatever. That's your opinion and you're entitled to it. But going out of your way to mock someone for it? Shame on you. You cannot agree! You can not agree with someone having a mental disorder. Yeah, sure, okay. It's not like you're completely disregarding what gender dysphoria, you know, being trans actually is. Spockter wasn't making fun of someone being trans, he was making fun of what he believes to be irrelevant or silly pronoun specifications. The person who asked Spockter to use they, them pronouns identifies as non-binary. Non-binary is not a gender. Non-binary individuals are not trans. It's the equivalent of someone making up a gender and new pronouns, saying this is what I am and people not believing it's a thing. Like. You just inferred that transgenderism was a choice. You're allowed to make fun of people's life choices. My siblings do it to me all the goddamn time. Please, you don't get to have it both ways. This was just one thing that he's done. This is the biggest thing that really bothers me on a personal level, and it's disgusting in every sense of the word. I think that says a lot about your priorities. He was saying extremely sexual things to his partners after they told him several times they were uncomfortable. He would just keep doing it. Partners, as if there was more than one complaining about it, which isn't the case from what Atari and Pentagrin provided. And we got to see stories as flawed screenshots again. When a different person who was 13 years old was venting to him, he told them, go touch yourself or something then to them. A 13 year old. Why the hell would you say that to a 13 year old? Considering the knowledge of this is coming to us not from the actual conversation, but from some someone's recounting of the conversation, I would like to posit that he was joking to lighten the mood, or that they misunderstood. Also, shut up, I did that at 13, grow up. And to a separate friend who was also 13, he pressured them several times to draw sexual art of another person and him, even though they said time after time they were uncomfortable with it and didn't want to. Oh wow, someone who's supposedly just getting their info from Atari and Pentagrin's videos who's clearly showcasing that they have misunderstood some of the claims. What a shock. It wasn't him and the artist, it was him and... Well, well actually, wait. Huh. You know, I just realized that you could read that part as either him asking the artist to draw him and his girlfriend together, or his girlfriend and the artist together. There's bad wording everywhere. Even more, he was sending extremely suggestive messages to this person, and once again, guess what? They said they were uncomfortable and he didn't stop. He's a pervert and doesn't respect people when they tell him to stop being one. His actions are disgusting, and this needs to stop right now, today, this second. Hold up! Wait a minute, let me put some bullshit in it. I managed to get my hands on these screenshots, so let's take a look at them in full, undisturbed by biased claims. So these all came from a main stash on DeviantArt hosted by Spockter's ex, Ghosty. The images that Question Turkey here is showing are in order from the folders, him legit admitting he'd fuck me, explicit convos with minors, and explicit convos with minors again. The first image, since it's from the him legit admitting he'd fuck me folder, is Spockter telling his at the time girlfriend that he would have sex with her. This is in May of 2017. Spockter's birthday is in April. In this screenshot, he turned 16 a month ago. Also, holy shit, I think this screenshot actually implies that his girlfriend was 14, not 13. The second, 
Oh, wow, look at that date. You know, I don't know when his birthday is, but based on that date, for all we know, he could still be 15 years old in this screenshot. Never mind, I found it, it's April 10th. Also, wait a second. Here's Spock just saying that when his fans call him daddy, he tries to play it cool, but he's dying on the inside. The last thing Spockter says in that screenshot is, do you like making me queasy? The teensy bit of the response that you can see from the other person could be... Is... Is this the fucking 12 year old that was hitting on him? Motherfucker! This isn't an example of him pushing sexual shit on the people who don't want it, it's... Ah! The last one? Ugh, oh, whatever, it's a 16 year old boy being horny. No mention whatsoever of the person not wanting him to continue, not even the listed age of the person he's talking to. None of these screenshots showcase that, so really, why should any of us be surprised anymore? There is no excuse for this kind of behavior, and I genuinely hope that his YouTube channel and his reputation is destroyed. Oh, you gon' regret you wish that when I finish up with you losers! He doesn't deserve the things he has. A perverted sexual deviant who harasses people and minors doesn't deserve success or support. Something some of you might remember is a while ago he hosted a contest for people to draw suggestive not safer work of his character. The problem wasn't the fact that the character had porn drawn of it. The problem was is that they sent art to Spockter for the contest and he is underaged. Why do all these guys hear words like seductive or not safe for work and their mind immediately goes to PORN? You guys do know that things can be seductive or not safe for work without being porn, right? Like, this is seductive, but it's not porn. This is not safe for work, but it's not porn. Here I was thinking I was the one with the dirty mind around here and y'all are hopping on porn like Spockter says girls like hopping on pubes. Distributing porn to minors is illegal and it's horrible that he would hold a contest while underage and make people unknowingly send pornography to a minor. This is completely disgusting and unfair to the artist who participated in the contest. I worded this weirdly. There were several artists, not just one. Sweetie, there was a lot more incorrect wording than that. Like literally every mention of porn so far. He posted two tweets today saying he will be making a statement on this situation, but honestly, there's nothing he can say to justify the things he's done. That's what commentators are for! The opposing side? Are you actually going to attempt to defend yourself? Just own up to your mistakes and do better. Defending your horrible actions makes you look even worse than you already are. This is a horrible mentality to have, but it's seeming more and more like the entirety of your stupid community has it. Don't even bother defending yourself. Bitch, what if the shit said about him wasn't true? I guess that's also what commentators are for! I've been watching Spockter Theory for a while, and it really shocked me when I saw these videos on him, and it really disappointed me that someone I watch was doing all of these horrible things, and I've been supporting them without realizing it for so long. I will not be supporting them whatsoever after this video goes up, and I encourage you to do the same. The sudden about face these people do when given such flimsy evidence is honestly astonishing. With fans like these, who needs enemies? I'm not telling you to attack them or send them death threats, I'm just asking you to avoid them at all costs. Don't watch their videos, don't subscribe to them, don't talk to them. Just block them, report them if you can, and move on. Jeez, Turkey, you keep referring to Spockter as them! And here I was under the impression he was a male! You wouldn't happen to be misusing pronouns, would ya? Don't go comment on his videos because it gives him a view. Don't dislike his videos because it gives them traction. Just completely remove yourself from them and everything they do completely, and don't acknowledge them. They shouldn't get attention from this, and they certainly shouldn't get any views or ratings from it either. It's cute that you think that's how people work. Thank you for watching this. If you would share this video to get the information out to as many people as possible, I would really appreciate it. Did I share it to enough people? We're skipping the end note telling people to be safe and finally moving on to Ghosty's video. Brace yourselves, people. We should be close to the end now. By end, I mean the point where we end ourselves. Hey, before I continue this video, I just want to give a shout out to the maker of my sprites which came from this animation. Their deviant art name is on screen because I can't pronounce that because I'm dumb. Anyway, before I say anything else, I just want to say if I sound uncomfortable or nervous, th that that's because I am. <laughs> Not much to say about that. How many people heard that and immediately thought you're nervous for the wrong reason? Yes, I was one of those affected by Spockter. I'm his ex. I'm comfortable coming out about it though, since it happened a while ago and I've had time to get over it and... Yeah, moving on, I just want to get this video over with quickly because I despise using my voice in anything. 
Jumping straight to the point, I'm going to quickly attempt to prove that the screenshots from my end are not fabricated. Ah, uh, now if only that were the only problem with them. I can only speak for my end, however. The screenshots on- the screenshots appearing on screen right now are not mine, and I won't be proving them, as I physically cannot. However, knowing the person who took them, it's pretty safe to say they're not edited either and can be trusted. Oh, good! That's a load off my mind! The person I don't know if I can trust is saying that another person I don't know can be trusted? It's like the weight of the very world has been lifted from me. Anyone who knows me knows I fucking despise people who lie about things for attention, whether it be rape, harassment, suicide, etc. I've made several call-outs on people who lie about this stuff, and I certainly wouldn't do it myself. I'll start with- I'll start off with the obvious excuse. Anyone could have just made an account and made these, impersonating Spockter. Well, here's the Skype user it's coming from. Spatic Tech. Spockter's old account user. I've also been a call with him on this account, and Feg, and I doubt Feg, Feg would add a fabricated Spockter, you know? <sighs> Even more adding on to this, you want some proof I actually knew Spockter? Here's a comment he posted on my art. Too vague? How about the ship art I made of us that he commented on? Still too vague? How about this public status post that's still up of him promoting my art? I mean... I encourage people to do ship art of Ponder Sprocket all they want. I comment on their art and I promote their art, both on my Twitter and through the fan art feature in my videos. Is that really supposed to mean anything? Of course, I'm still operating under the belief that yeah, this is Spockter's ex, but if you honestly think that those three examples proved anything, well, it says a lot about why the evidence provided is as bad as it is. There. Now y'all know I'm not some rando. Second point. Why are all these screenshots on the old Skype? Clearly edited, shaking my head. They're, they're on the old Skype because I originally took these back in May before Skype got shit. But I got a nice note from one of his white knights asking me to delete them, so I did. But I re-uploaded them again, and as it states here, there is a re uploaded in June of 2017. This is months before all these videos came out, not just a day or a week, you know? So wait. You already had these posted long before now, took them down, and then reposted them. And in all that time, you didn't look at them and think, these could be better. Another thing about that, why would I make something up back in June? Like, honestly, dude, who the fuck's that sad? Um, plenty of people make up stories to hurt others. The time it was done is kind of irrelevant. It's more whether or not one would have the incentive to do it that should be addressed. Anyway, here's some footage of me and Spock's DMs on Skype itself. I can't be bothered scrolling up the entire way because hype Skype's hella slow, but you can obviously see I have them added and it's on the same account. You might see one of these screenshots in live if I can be bothered, but who knows. Oh my god! O audience, please tell me that you see what I'm seeing. Please, please. Oh god. I think I'm coming down with the case of the vapors. Ghosty is scrolling through a chat that we've already seen. Oh yes, let's look at this. Okay, so look at this, and now this. Okay, and then this, and then boom, baby! This is one of the images from Ghosty's stash entitled Wanting Not Safe for Work from Miners. This one too. So two of the three examples that Ghosty's stash provides is from Ghosty themselves. At this point, how many of these Skype conversations are just from Ghosty? We've already seen that a good chunk of the cut-up Discord screenshots were from stories. Oh, and the third example? Spockter asks someone if they've drawn smut. And the miner says yes. The miner was already creating not safe for work content. Spockter was just asking if he could see it. I mean, A, technically not great that way either, but he wasn't demanding the artist create him porn. He wasn't even asking them to draw new porn or start drawing porn when they had never done so before because the miner already fucking did it! Are all of you people insane? You're all claiming it's such a horrible, terrible thing to expect porn from miners because, oh, they would never do that, and one of the examples that you've compiled literally showcases a miner who has already engaged in the creation of smut artwork. I am fucking livid! Even in this conversation,
conversation between Ghosty and Spockter, Spockter asks if Ghosty's done explicit smut before, and Ghosty says, not before, but I can, with no provocation from Spockter whatsoever. This is ridiculous. How the fuck did you look at these screenshots and think that this was appropriate evidence for anything you're claiming? I can at least understand how not a lot of people have noticed this because I doubt anyone else has been combing through every single fucking Spockter video that's come out since this debacle began. Like I have! And oh, don't worry, I'll get to the rest of them in my next video! Oh, and to top off the Sunday with a ripe bloody red cherry, Ghosty shows a little further down in the conversation than the screenshots provided, and Spockter says... Just. Not. Overboard. Gotcha. And with a wee little devilish cat face. Oh... Oh, how appropriate that is at this very fucking moment. What else to provide to show that I know Spockter and haven't edited these, so I guess you just need to take my word on it. Actually kill me. Just a few extra things that weren't mentioned in the videos and weren't half as bad, but yeah. There was also an instance where he tried to have an NSFW roleplay with me, and I'm pretty sure that's not alright, don't quote me on that. I will! And you're wrong! As you can see, I was taking it very seriously. I'm a bit of a shit posty person, but I was still uncomfortable. I just didn't know how to react, so my amateur lasted there. Wow, it's like a whole lot of these problems came about because it's a bunch of teenage girls who don't know how to react. My ladies, I know we're generally more submissive than males, but on the internet, you don't have to care. If you keep being submissive, the dominant males aren't going to recognize when you don't want it. Also, remember how Atari and Pentagram said he told people I was blackmailing him? This is the closest thing I ever say to ever being relate, even remotely related to blackmail. Hell, it isn't even blackmail, it's just a fucking flat out threat. You said earlier that you posted screenshots between you and Spockter before. One could view that as blackmail, especially if they're the one that you're making look bad with the screenshots cut up as they are. Don't even test me, little girl. Yeah, I get threatening him was wrong, but I mean, it's a call out on a pedo when it's not like I said, um, if you don't give me a shout out, I'm gonna expose you. Uh, <clears throat> I'm not that kind of person. So you were going to expose him as a pedo if he kept doing what you personally thought was bad? Yes! That is blackmail! Especially because he's not a pedo! Children! None of you are mentally developed enough to understand this situation. TALK TO YOUR PARENTS! Also, Cotter himself said he would make a video addressing this, and he wouldn't deny anything apart from the transphobic thing. I have a feeling right now that he's gonna say he'll never know there was they them on my page. Just to debunk that right now, he asked my gender and I sent him a screenshot of my page, which had they them on it! I'll see if I can find that. If I did, it'll be on screen now. You're not trans, darling, and he's not transphobic. I know this might be confusing, but I'm gonna lay it all out straight for you guys, so listen closely. Being trans means that you have a psychological disorder known as gender dysphoria. People with gender dysphoria do not feel comfortable in their own bodies and feel more comfortable acting, looking, and living as the opposite sex. Currently, the most widely accepted treatment for gender dysphoria is to transition into the opposite sex. Using they, them pronouns is a non-binary, gender fluid, pangender, whatever thing. It is a means of not exclusively identifying as either gender. These people are not trans. Trans is short for transitional. Non-binaries do not transition. They simply identify. This is not the same thing. Transsexuals use hormones and surgery to change their outward and inward characteristics. Even if you cut off your genitals and replace them with nothing, you can't change your hormones to be neither gender. Maybe you could do both. But at that point, you're a hermaphrodite. I don't even think you can surgically get both genitals, and I'm sorry, but you will never be as hot as Rebus from the Doom Patrol. People nowadays are touting the belief that your gender and your sex are disconnected and that your gender is how you feel. If you feel non-binary, then you are non-binary. There is no transitional state. People suffering from gender dysphoria have also been shown with brain scans to demonstrate the neurochemical traits of the gender they identify as. They simply lack the physical and hormonal traits. We can literally show that transgenderism is a thing. 
If you claim that gender is how you feel and is a state of mind, then you have always been non-binary, simply lacking the appropriate term for it. And you have no reason to and no prior experience with transitioning. You are not trans. Spockter is not transphobic. Stop it. Most of the stuff has been covered in Atari and Pentagram's videos though, so go check them out. I'll link them in the description because I don't know how to make them appear on screen. Anyway, I think that's about it. I'm sorry if this is all over the place. I know it is. I've never wrote a script before or did a video like this before, and I don't plan on doing it again unless I really need to. Get better at it before you do. Like I said earlier, I'm sorry if I sound uncomfortable or that I stammer a lot when I'm talking, and yeah, I just get nervous. But if you have any questions about this, just go ahead and ask. I don't mind. Just try to be civil, because I'm a bit sensitive. <laughs> Can't ask questions when you private the video so nobody else can find it. Thank the crawling chaos. We're finally finished with these videos. I know that I've still got a stupidly huge catalog of art weebs to go through, but at the very least, I can rest knowing that the main root of the problem has been addressed. We'll end off the video with this note. Yes, Spockter Theory is guilty of something. While the screenshots have not actually shown him directly asking for nude pictures of minors, trust me, that actually surprised me too. I was coming in originally thinking that that was one of the only things they concretely had on him. As far as I can tell, he has sent out nudes of himself. Since Spockter is a minor, that is legally speaking the creation and distribution of child pornography. I know that Spockter has gone dark after releasing his response video, which, if you go back and watch it upon knowing all this stuff, it sounds like a guilty teen shamed into thinking that he's a horrible person. But I actually do hope that he sees this. It's not shameful or bad to be a hormonal person, and it's perfectly fine to want to have fun, sexually charged conversations. I think his biggest problem with regards to that behavior is that he just hasn't found the right outlet, or even the right group of friends to be able to express himself in that manner. And all of his fans clogging up on top of him and telling him how much they love him, and calling him daddy, and feeding into this problem, has not been helping the situation. He shouldn't at all be sending nudes. Not just sending them to others around his age, but sending them at his age. If you are below the age of 18, you're too young to be sending nudes. This goes for all of you. I would also like to point out, regarding the accusations about him not paying for artwork. Spockter became popular when he was young. He's in his mid-teens. If people started giving him artwork at that time, not expecting pay, Spockter would go on continuing to ask for artwork without pay because he knew they would provide it. This is feeding the behavior. Now, we've already seen that Spockter did pay the artists and they have no ill will towards him. But in any other instance where Spockter might have been begging for artwork, this is clearly a case of artists just not being able to say no. If Spockter had approached me and said, hey, can you draw me free art? My response would have been, fuck you, pay me. That should be everybody's response if you don't want to do artwork for someone. Do not feed into this behavior. We don't know if Spockter had this behavior outside of the accusations already given, but either way, you can recognize the problem before the teenager gets too far into this as a habit. Beyond that, these were not good videos. They were not appropriate. They should not have been made. I think it was best summed up in a tweet I read talking about this drama. The tweet itself was a complete condemnation of Spockter, but one of the images provided says more than enough of how wrong the entire situation has been. If it's a sexually explicit text or chat between children, there may still be a possible offense, but in these cases, the detail of the text or chat should be considered. General sexual references would not necessarily constitute an offense, but text or chat that incites a child to engage in sexual activity or to make or distribute sexual images of themselves or another child should be reported to local police for further guidance. Do not delete or alter any material. Please be aware, while offenses may technically have been committed by the child or children involved, the matter will be dealt with sensitively and considering all of the circumstances. In particular, any age difference between the children should be considered. This was not dealt with tactfully. If anybody in the ranting community who claims to have known about this behavior had any sense, they would have dealt with this quietly 
and quickly, not spread garbage drama alert-esque news to such a highly impressionable and as both Pentagrin and Atari have admitted, young audience. Atari and Pentagrin especially should be ashamed of this behavior, not just for creating such a chaotic turn of events, but for blindly rushing into a situation they did not fully understand because they were too preoccupied with their own bravado. I've already made light of Pentagrin's non-contact offense, but these two are both in fact guilty of defamation. They have committed a crime. These two have ruined a teenager's online presence and sullied his name in such a way that Let's be honest, even if people look at this video, recognize the flaws, and come to agree with me, it may not actually be salvageable. Nobody bothered to actually go out and check the claims, some of which are exceedingly easy to disprove. He doesn't pay his artists? All I had to do was ask the artists about their working relationship with Spockter to prove it wrong. He created a contest asking for pornography from minors? All I had to do was look at the entry guidelines for the original contest to know that was horse malarkey. Nobody looked at these videos and thought to question it. Nobody noticed the blatantly incorrect accusations. And surprisingly enough, Something I think is just so notably worrisome is that Spockter himself didn't recognize these blatant falsities. Spockter would have known that they were lying about him not paying his artists. Spockter would have known that they were lying about his contest asking for porn because he created the contest. So either even Spockter was tricked by the accusations put forth in this video, or he's been shamed into accepting the full brunt of the blame, even for things he didn't do. These videos have beaten a child down to the point of just submitting to being hated, then dare try to say anything against the claims because it's been told to them that this would be even worse. The people involved are not old enough to understand the ramifications of these actions, whether they be directly involved or indirectly spreading this cancer as though it were gospel. I am disgusted with how everybody has acted these past few days. Everybody who made a video on the matter. Everybody who looked at this and saw no issue. Everybody who blindly followed. Everybody who claimed that to try and explain or defend the situation meant defending a pedophile and child abuser. Everybody who said that if you questioned the claims, you're part of the problem. I have seen people act like animals, like children, and turn away from anyone who might cry, I disagree, simply because they don't want to hear what a pedophile defender might say. You should all be absolutely ashamed of yourselves. <sighs> and with that, I'm done. No fan art feature today, you guys. I'm sorry, this situation is far too serious and his left me completely drained. However, the thumbnail was commissioned by a different artist who originally drew sketch fan art for me. The link for them will be in the description. Please send them some love. I hope you all have yourselves a good rest and that in the future, you may think twice about your actions or the claims of others. Especially were they to be something so damaging if the claims turned out to be with little to no merit or entirely false. Good night.